For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The recent election victory of Donald Trump set off a powerful rally in the stock market, with equities surging and maintaining strength throughout the day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average climbed by more than 1,300 points as the market opened, ultimately ending at a new record high, along with other key indexes. Investor sentiment was broadly optimistic, interpreting the Trump win as a signal of lower corporate taxes, reduced regulatory burdens, and enhanced opportunities for mergers and acquisitions. Treasury yields also rose alongside Trump's growing lead in recent weeks, and his victory today pushed them to new highs, with yields topping 4.46% at one point during the day. Investors foresee a less interventionist Federal Reserve given Trump's economic stance, which reduced expectations of aggressive rate cuts. Rising Treasury yields indicate that investors are positioning for an inflationary environment, one possibly fueled by the President-elect's plans for tariffs and reduced international trade. You should also know that the US dollar had an equally strong performance, bolstered by Trump's win and the likelihood of tariffs reducing imports, which in turn would strengthen domestic production. The dollar's increase dampened commodities like oil and gold, which dropped in value as the greenback gained. On top of that, the cryptocurrency market celebrated Trump's regulatory promises as digital assets experienced a rapid surge. Bitcoin reached a new all-time high, and other cryptocurrencies mirrored its rise. Traders were especially optimistic about the possibility of lighter regulation for digital assets under Trump's administration. The largest US-based cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase, saw its stock skyrocket by 31.11%, while the crypto investment firm Galaxy Digital gained 24.86%. This optimism is tied to the belief that Trump's policies will usher in a friendlier environment for crypto markets, lifting barriers, and encouraging investment growth in the sector. In addition, certain sectors gained traction as investors positioned themselves for favorable policy changes under Trump. For instance, major banks, including J.P. Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo, recorded impressive gains of 11.54% and 13.11% respectively in response to the expectation of deregulation in the financial sector. These financial institutions stand to benefit from the easing of regulatory restrictions that could stimulate lending and profitability. Meanwhile, energy stocks, especially traditional oil companies, received a favorable boost. ExxonMobil saw a notable rise of 1.71% as Trump's policies are expected to benefit fossil fuel industries over renewable energy. However, clean energy stocks experienced significant declines as the market anticipates the end of subsidies introduced under the Biden administration. The Invesco Solar Exchange Traded Fund dropped sharply by 10.77%, and companies such as Enphase Energy First Solar and Solar Edge experienced losses. Despite the overall positive market reaction, several prominent investors are voicing caution. Leon Cooperman, a renowned billionaire investor, noted on CNBC's Squawk Box that while he is not short selling any stocks, he would consider selling into the strength of the rally. His sentiments highlight the risks of overvaluing equities too soon after the election. Additionally, Jeffrey Roach, chief economist at LPL Financial, advised investors to be discerning in their portfolios as certain sectors may face challenges even under a Trump administration. However, not everyone shares the same cautious outlook. Cryptocurrency advocates, for instance, are highly highly optimistic. Bitwise Chief Investment Officer Matt Hogan remarked that the election was a clear victory for crypto. This sentiment has been echoed across digital asset markets as traders celebrate what they anticipate to be a new era of regulatory freedom for the sector. Furthermore, large technology companies facing antitrust scrutiny also rallied. Alphabet experienced an uptick of 3.99%, while Amazon gained 3.8%, with both companies poised to benefit from a likely reduction in regulatory constraints. In other other news, healthcare stocks joined the rally, with CVS Health advancing by 11.33%. Although the company missed earnings expectations due to a one-time charge, its revenue met projections, and investors appeared willing to overlook the earnings miss. Another significant winner was Planet Fitness, which saw a 6.09% gain. The company received a boost from its surprise bid to acquire Blink Holdings, a bankrupt fitness chain. The acquisition aligns with Planet Fitness's strategy to expand its gym business, and the market reacted positively to this bold move. On the other hand, Supermicro Computer faced challenges, with its shares plunging by 18.05% after announcing continued delays in filing its quarterly report. This delay heightened concerns about the company's financial integrity, further impacting its stock price. You should also be aware that the real estate sector, particularly home builder stocks, faced headwinds. 
fears that mortgage rates will stay elevated, driven by fewer Federal Reserve rate cuts under Trump's administration, weighed on home builder stocks. These companies rely on lower mortgage rates to drive home sales, and the prospect of sustained high rates poses a challenge for future growth. However, the best part is that the election results brought substantial relief to investors, as the end of political uncertainty often supports market gains. Chief U.S. equity strategist David Costin commented on the potential for strong returns through year-end, noting that the Standard & Poor's 500 Index typically achieves a median 4% increase from Election Day in November to the end of December. Costin pointed out that the combination of reduced political uncertainty, solid economic data on inflation and employment, and ongoing support from Federal Reserve rate cuts could create an ideal short-term environment for stock growth. While the current market reaction is positive, the long-term implications of Trump's economic policies remain uncertain. Large-cap stocks such as Nvidia, Microsoft, and Apple continue to draw significant attention. Nonetheless, smaller stocks, including those in the Russell 2000 Index, delivered an impressive performance with the index jumping by 5.8%, its best day in approximately three years. Smaller cap stocks are benefiting from the anticipated tax cuts, relaxed regulations, and potential for mergers and acquisitions. Unlike large tech corporations, smaller stocks have more room for growth and are less likely to be overvalued. However, the potential for further Federal Reserve rate cuts could support continued gains in this category. JP Morgan's chief stock strategist Dubravko Lakos Buhas recently predicted this outcome, expecting the election to trigger a significant shift in market leadership. His prediction held true, as small caps outperformed larger stocks that have been market leaders throughout the year. Lacos Bujas highlighted that domestically focused companies, financial stocks, and cyclical value stocks are well positioned to thrive under Trump's economic policies. City strategist Scott Cronert identified promising small cap companies such as Texas Roadhouse and Eagle Materials, which are likely to benefit from favorable policy shifts. Wells Fargo analyst Chris Harvey noted that small cap stocks have historically performed well in the months following presidential elections. With economic resilience, moderate inflation, and the likelihood of future rate cuts from the Federal Reserve all contribute to a favorable outlook for small cap stocks. Meanwhile, Planet Fitness faces a unique challenge from the Federal Trade Commission's new click-to-cancel rule, which may affect the company's subscription model by making it easier for customers to cancel memberships. Although this rule is currently being contested in court, it could have a significant impact on Planet Fitness's revenue if enacted. Lastly, you should know that Pinterest, which is a social media company, saw strong performance in April but suffered a significant sell-off in August primarily due to disappointing forward guidance. Despite this setback, the stock now appears undervalued, and investors are eager to hear updates on Pinterest's plans to incorporate artificial intelligence tools to drive user engagement and boost revenue. In summary, Trump's election victory has brought both opportunities and volatility to the stock market. Gains were seen across major indexes, cryptocurrencies, and small cap stocks, with certain sectors benefiting from anticipated regulatory rollbacks and tax cuts. While the current outlook appears promising, long-term market dynamics will hinge on the full implementation and impact of Trump's economic policies. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.